and welcome to Radio Friends on this Friday, August the 23rd. We've got one topic today, and that is Heart of Missouri United Way. I want to introduce you to Tim Rich. Good to have you here, Tim. Thanks, Paul. We were talking before we went on. It's, we go back 30 years, don't we? We do. When I first came to town with the Salvation Army yeah. as an officer, you and I met at that time, and uh, you've just been a community champion yeah, ever well, since. We're, we're glad to have you. And you brought along a special guest today. I have one of my bosses. We have a 40-member board at the United so Way. So you've got 40 different bosses. I have 40 different bosses, and they actually all <laughs> like me as far as I can tell, which is good. <laughs> okay. Uh, but Dr. Chris Belcher, Superintendent of Columbia Public Schools. Good to have you here. here. Now, so you're, you're one of his bosses. How is he doing? He does well. He, uh, Tim carries the vision and the torch for United Way, and we're proud of him. Now, I know he's he's very proud of you. He came in here just boasting about you. Now, what what what, what are you doing with United Way this year? Well, I'm carrying his water this year. That's why he's boasting <laughs> yes. about me. Uh, every year, United Way has a campaign to raise X amount of dollars. This year, it's $4 million, and those programs serve the community in, in a variety so, so of you're, ways. you're trying to raise $4 million, but you've had requests— for $4.2 million. Mm -hmm. There's always more need in this community, and it's growing. We're, we're urbanizing, and with urbanization comes a variety of issues of resource needs for various groups and populations. I say I've taken on this to carry Tim's water, but really it's a sort of a selfish mission on my part. Most of the money United Way raises goes to organizations or agencies that actually serve the kids and families of Columbia Public School children. So I really sort of have a obligation to do it, I think, because every year... Well, you've we have, got a vested interest. Oh, there. absolutely. We use the food bank for our kids. We use mental health services. We use medical and uh, dental care for some kids that don't get it. There's a wide variety of programs that wrap around the students that we have that are in poverty. And poverty is insidious. Uh, it comes in all sorts of forms, and it takes all sorts of things from kids that they need to have in order to be successful. And so our theme is Believe and Achieve 4.0. And the belief is that kids can achieve anything they want as long as they believe they can achieve something. Oh, I believe that. And when we grow up, I had parents that when I didn't believe in myself, they believed in me more. And they wouldn't allow me to slip, and they wouldn't allow me to uh, not try my best. I had lots of those supports, and even with that, I still struggled as a child like we all do. Now take a kid that's in poverty that lacks some of the social structure and support and finances to do certain things, and they start to maybe think they're not worth something. It, it becomes a vicious circle then. Absolutely it, it does. It becomes a vicious circle. And if you can break that way of thinking mm -hmm. and, and, and light a little spark, mm -hmm. it can make all the difference in the world. That's exactly what the theme is. You nailed it. We want to do things and encourage people to give money so that we can provide services to allow those kids to be raised up to a level that they feel confident, capable, and can ultimately be successful. And you know, the other thing that we all as adults need to keep in mind is that our future really mm -hmm. is in the hands of these young mm -hmm. people who are going to school today because they are the leaders of tomorrow and tomorrow's not that far away oh tell yeah. me tim i, I, I spent three <laughs> the older years, you get uh, yeah, the older you get the faster tomorrow <laughs> comes I, you know, I spent three years uh, out of nonprofit, uh, unexpectedly in politics and as i walked through the halls and the offices of our congressmen on the united states level i was stunned because the average age of the staffers there is 26 now think about that. These are the kids who are running this country. They're the best and the brightest, but we have a huge number of kids in Columbia Public Schools right now that don't even have that vision that they could get there and be in a position where they're truly leading this country forward. And nobody tells that better than you do, Chris. Well, and it's, it's a, a broad sample. I'll give you one success story. We are getting more and more refugee children in Columbia, Missouri. Why? Because we're a wonderful place to live. We have housing, medical treatment, and we're very tolerant progressive community. So Catholic Charity places a lot of refugee students in our community. We've gone from 500 children that don't speak English to 1,100 this year. Mm -hmm. That's just in five years. Those kids need services because they often lack other things. We had a student came from an African country, spoke no English his freshman year. When he graduated from here with a 3.4, he got a Gates Millennium Scholarship and got four years of college paid for, mm -hmm. and he's going to get a degree in construction management and come back and help people from his community figure out how to have affordable housing. That's a beautiful story. And that child didn't make it with just Columbia Public Schools. 
There were food bank mm -hmm. services, there were social agencies, there were medical care uh, through various services. It was the entire community created that kid mm -hmm. that now may come back and make Columbia even a better place because we gave him uh, the lift he needed mm -hmm. to succeed. Mm -hmm. and, and part of what we're trying to do with community impact, and we, we have these wonderful anecdotal stories like this and real success stories, but we have not as a provider community ever been able or had the space and, and the resources to work together intentionally to create that story on a, a massive scale. We, we love these stories of one kid who happened to succeed, but we ought to be able to do that for all the kids who are struggling. And we've got 43% of our Columbia Public School children going on free and reduced price lunches because there aren't enough resources at home. That's a staggering number. 43 that's almost half. Well, when you figure that the high school kids are not identifying anymore for mm -hmm. stigma issues, we're probably at 50% of our kids qualify for free and reduced lunch, which is $22,000 a year for a family of four. Now, that's really hard to believe. I'm not doubting you. Right. I'm not doubting you. But that is so difficult to believe. Mm -hmm. You say that almost 50% or yes. perhaps it could be more than 50% mm -hmm. of the kids that are in school mm -hmm. fall into that poverty level. And that's the story of Columbia. The story of Columbia is you can go to where the university is in the mm -hmm. certain parts of town and you would think that this is a more suburban-like community with a, a larger percentage of people that come with good resources. But when you start to drive the back roads in the certain areas, you will see that there is a tale of two cities here. Mm -hmm. And that that 50% is sort of historically here. Mm -hmm. They're here, they stay here, they don't move out. Whereas our more affluent kids come, they go to college, they will often move away for jobs and so forth. They're gonna make us they have the resources home support them. The kids that don't have it, we don't give them opportunities. Right. They're gonna yeah. stay here and use resources from some other agency in order to survive. If people want to help out with United Way, the campaign, we're almost out of time here, yes. the campaign kicks off one week from today, one on week August from today. 30th, 7.30 in the morning at Battle High School, hopefully on the field. And Chris is organizing with a bunch of volunteers a huge celebration to kick this off because we believe this community can meet that need and is willing to do it's so. It's going to be at Battle High School. Battle High School. And, and the spirit of uh, Muriel and Elliot uh, will we'll be there. Yes, they absolutely. will bless that call to battle. Call yeah. to battle. They were wonderful people. They were. Yeah. Thank you so much for coming by. Always a pleasure. Paul. All right. Best nice of luck call. with you. Okay. We're out of time for today. Uh, Monday, Central Missouri Stop Human Trafficking Coalition is on with us. Our program directed by Travis McMillan of the Reynolds Journalism Institute. Audio, Pat Akers, KBIA. Our floor director is Rich Polzine and our assistant producer and guest coordinator, Uncle James Mauser. And if you'd like to hear this or again, or pick up some more details about it, go to kbia.org, click on talk shows, radio friends, sign up for a podcast or a vodcast. Bye-bye.